if we have this kind of two degree of freedom system how is the motion of the system or what is the vibration pattern of the system this is what we are going to discuss in this video we know that the equation of motion in matrix form is given by k minus omega square m multiplied by x equals to zero where k underbar is the stiffness matrix and m underbar is the mass matrix and where x with the curly head is the column vector written as x equals to x1 x2 the next step it is actually a complex amplitude from the complex exponential notation now with the values of mass and stiffness the matrix in the bracket is 3 minus omega square minus 2 minus 2 4 minus 2 omega square multiplied by x1 and x2 equals to 0 from here you can refer back to the previous video by using determinant we can obtain the natural frequencies which are omega 1 equals to 1 and omega 2 equals to 2 now these natural frequencies are the eigenvalues we've got from the couple equations so we can choose either one of the equation of motions and substitute its natural frequency to obtain the relations between x1 and x2 which are the eigenvectors so let's say we choose the first equation of motions therefore we have 3 minus omega square x1 minus 2 x2 equals to 0 now if we substitute the first natural frequency which is omega equals to 1 we have 3 minus 1 equals to 2 so we have 2 x1 minus 2 x2 equals to 0 and then we have x1 equals to x2 what it means here is that for the first natural frequency mass m1 and mass m2 will have the same magnitude of vibrations if mass m1 is moving one centimeter in amplitude m2 will also move in the same phase with one centimeter amplitude We can represent the value of amplitude in terms of ratio to a reverence value. So let's say we can normalize the value of x2 by the value of x1. So here if x1 equals to 1, then x2 is also equals to 1. We can write down vector v1 as 1, 1. And this v1 here, we call it the normalized mode shape functions now for the second natural frequency where omega equals to 2 after we substitute to the equations we have 3 minus 4 equals to minus 1 so we have minus x1 minus 2 x2 equals to 0 and from here we have x2 equals to minus a half x1 So again, if x1 equals to 1, then x2 equals to minus a half. Then the normalized mode shapes function v2 is equals to 1 minus 0 0.5. This physically means that at the second natural frequency, if m1 moves by 1 unit, mass m2 will move by half of it, but at the opposite directions because it is negative so the motions will be like this okay that's it for the mod shape and the mod shape functions hope this simple example here is easy to be understood at least for the philosophy of it because for the continuous structure like plates and beams the fundamental is also the same that is to deal with the relative amplitude and phase from one point to another point in the structure see you again guys Ciao.